Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. Now, today's video is a little bit different. It's not like our regular green screen videos where I talk about some knowledgeful stuff or tell you something about what's happening in the world. It's a little bit different. And this video is all because I received two emails on the same day. And I really think that I should share it with all of you because a lot of people really need some code motivation. So let me go through with the first email and then I'll move on to the second email. And this man really needs some talk. And in fact, I think that I'm a good person to talk with him. So let me just tell you what is this person saying. And I won't be calling out the name of this person because I think this is not good. I should not do that. So let's just go with this email. By the way, I'm reading from my computer. Hi, Hitesh, my name is blank. I am learning programming for over an year now. I am, I was never good in maths and even after a year, I'm not able to write code for logics. I am thinking to quit programming. Perhaps I was not born to be a programmer. Your courses were awesome and helped a lot, but it looks like I'm not smart enough to be a programmer. I'm looking for new fields and just thought to say hello to you over mail. Hope you will take some time from your busy schedule to say hello back to me. Okay, I'll surely say hello to you over the email. So you are thinking to quit programming. Okay, that's okay. That's acceptable. It's okay. But let me tell you one thing. It's always easy to quit. It's always easy. You know, uh, the easiest part about learning anything, it's always easy to quit. You want to learn a new language? It's easy to quit. You want to become a basketball player? It's easy to quit. You want to run a mile? It's easy to quit. You want to hit the gym for a month continuously? It's easy to quit. You want to learn a guitar? It's easy to quit. The easiest thing that anyone can do in this world is quitting. And if everybody would be quitting the things, nobody would have learned anything. Maybe it would be a guitar, it would be an audio specialty, it would be uh, videos, editing photos, programming, designing apps. It's easy to quit. Okay, I get your point. You might be not good in uh, mathematics or you might not be building good logics, but it's always easy to quit. You know, programmers like me and a lot of other people were born with a gift. They were born with a high amount of knowledge in them. Uh, when they born up, they didn't cry. They cried out loud with a table of 24. You know, it's easy. When we were five, we were a mathematical genius. You were reading our books. Is that so? It was not like that. It was never like that. We were never born a genius. People think, a lot of community thinks that programmers are born genius. No, they were not. They are not. They will never be. It's always easy to quit. The reason why we are programmer, the reason why we are learning the things is because we are not quitters. We don't quit. A programmer never ever quits. And I have seen a lot of people who are working with the website, web designs, their CSS never works out. They want a specific color on a specific letter or a specific background. It never works on the first time. And in fact, web developers know better than me because they code every single day it's always easy to quit. And let me show you another email, then I'll discuss further and I'll come back further that what is the wrong thing that you're doing. And this is actually not a mail. Uh, this is from one of my students from iOS course, iOS development, and he's, his name is Douglas. He says, Picker return to, yeah, got it work after four months. Can you even imagine that? He has spent four months in a single problem. And you know how the solution works out? It's just a couple of lines. It's just a couple of lines. And he said, I've been working on picker uh, with the return to. Uh, first wheel, uh, you select the provenance and uh, the second wheel automatically refresh to associate the cities. It worked flawlessly, I'm excited. So this guy has been working on a single problem for over four, or four months. And I have no idea what the particular actually the problem is. Uh, he might be working on it. It might be a very tough problem. It took him uh, four months. Maybe if I would have been working, it might have took me uh, maybe 15 days or 20 days to solve it. Maybe somebody who is much more experienced than me might have solved this problem in a day or two or maybe in an hour. I, I don't say that. But you know what Douglas is doing? He's not quitting. That's important. 
and if you learn anything it's very easy to quit you can quit in a second in an instant and uh, that doesn't make you a programmer and i believe if you are learning uh, if you're trying to switch into any other field or domain as well let's say you are learning basketball as well or maybe you want to learn about mechanics of a car you won't be good in a year programming takes years and a lot of people nowadays expect that it's going to be magic i'll take a course i'll read a book and within 15 days a month or maybe two months i'll become an expert programmer i'll launch an app i'll i'll design my app better than facebook or something i don't say you cannot do it but for sure there is no such magic it's just all a lie it's just a myth it never ever happens it is not going to happen ever so I'm not saying you you should not look for other job opportunities. Maybe you can do somewhere good, better than programming. I'm not saying that, but just within a year you're quitting. It it some it is something that I cannot digest. It's it's not something that I can actually adjust. My mind is saying this man is a quitter. This man is literally I, I'm I'm a little bit getting a little bit harsh, but this man is a loser. He's accepting things so easily. He's not a fighter, and that's all about it. I'm not saying uh, that programming is the only career. Programming is the only job there. Uh, there are dozens of others. People are carpenters. People are mechanics. People are electricians. They can they can be anything, but they have become good at it because they are not quitters. They don't quit. Many times I design a website. I want a specific color. I want a specific fo- font. That's not happening, and uh, I was able to do it at the end of the day or maybe end of the month because I didn't quit. and that's something which is not in my blood i i don't quit things i may be i was broke at one time i i struggled with it i'm doing a lot of things now but one thing i i cannot accept with myself is quitting i have actually approached that i'm going to be making better videos for the youtube i'm learning every single day i'm attending a lot of boot camps all over the globe i'm traveling with my own expenses to learn the things and that's what i do i don't quit the things and i think you should also never quit Programming takes time. It's something that requires a lot of mental focus. And in the upcoming videos as well, I'll talk about how to increase your focus, how you can be more productive and things because I have been very much productive in the recent couple of years. I'll share you with my tips and tricks how I do that and everything. But one thing that I say all the time, never ever quit. you need to work a little bit hard if this guy is spending 4 months in a problem and you already know the syntax in a year of any one programming language i think you are ahead of me already i never got the syntax in a year it took me a lot of time now the things are really easy for me because i have spent a dozens amount of in fact uh, last 10 years in all of all about the programming so all i'm saying to you is okay best of luck go ahead try out other careers i'm not against it actually it's good i still would like to be in contact with you it's really good but again i think just one year it's it's too much early to quit you might could have done a really great things in that but again who am i to decide who am i to say this all i'm saying a random programmer guy who likes to code is saying to you that sometime we do spend 4 or 5 month in just solving one problem it's pretty common even a website designer sometimes spends a month in just changing some color or combination or something is not right even even he is not having an idea what's not right but still he do spend time so don't expect ever for magic it's not about magic it's not going to happen over a day over a month it takes years and years and years of practice so i i have no idea what to say how can i stop you and uh, can put you back into the programming grounds but let me know in the mail if you really think that i can help you somehow and i would definitely say to all of you guys out there who are thinking to quit programming no year is a very short time if you are doing even if you got the syntax in the first year i think you are doing really great you should stick with that and you should explore more about yourself more do more projects and learn a little bit more about it and i hope you like this video and uh, this video was actually dedicated to some one special mail guy i'll be linking him uh, in the mail but again if you think that this can this video can inspire somebody else as well make sure you share it and i'll catch you up just like always in the some next video